teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I have another WWE Elite Figure Collection video for you guys, and it is on my Y2J Collection. Break the walls down here, guys. You can see Chris Jericho is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He was actually my first favorite wrestler alongside Kurt Angle when I first got into wrestling um, when I was a little kid around 1999, 2000. Uh, Chris Jericho, always been a huge fan. He's an absolute beast. There's a reason why they call him the best in the world, so... So uh, I have all of my figures here. I want to go through each individual one of them with you guys like we do in all the collection videos. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, guys, so I guess we can start out with this one over here. And uh, this one's actually a custom that I got from, uh, I can't even remember who I got it from to be honest with you guys, but uh, you can see it does have the Terry Funk body mold instead of the regular small body mold, that Daniel Bryan style, and uh, it's one of his, uh, he wore this in the WWF, and I believe he wore this attire in WCW, it's got the basic lower legs on there, not one of my favorite attires, but I think I got it in a trade or something, uh, they painted the hair a lighter blonde too, very cool Jericho, not my favorite, but I think this body mold looks so good on a Chris Jericho figure, I wish they would use that for every single Jericho, but uh, moving Moving on, we do have two different versions of the Defining Moments, which are just the exact same. I got them for customs and stuff like that. Um, this is one of my favorite moments, and this is one of my favorite figures, actually, that Mattel's ever made straight off the product line. You know, it's it's a great figure, and it's really cheap. I think you can get it for like 10 bucks, and it comes with uh, both the, the World Heavyweight Championship and the Big Eagle Championship, the circular WWF title. So, I mean, this is this is freaking fantastic, and I love these figures to death. So, we have both of these from the, the Night at Vengeance. Moving on, we do have a WrestleMania 19 Chris Jericho from his match with Shawn Michaels. As you can see, these light blue. Some of my favorite tights he's ever worn. Not the best head scan, but uh, this is a ringside exclusive. It's got the entrance coat on there, which is rubber, which sucks. But it's got his iconic pose on there. Yeah, got all of this good jazz going on. Very great Chris Jericho. I love the light blue again. I wish I could have more of these because I'd make some customs and stuff like that with them. But uh, they're actually kind of hard to track down. And, and ringside, you know, they're, they're always like 25 bucks per ringside exclusive. So we have that one. Then we have probably my favorite Jericho of my entire collection, guys. This is made by Showstopper Custom Figs. This is a 2005 era Jericho. You got the sculpted beer beer. You got the sculpted beard on there, you got uh, custom sculpted hair on there, and these tights are absolutely freaking fantastic. It's got the Jericho on there in the pink over the white, and I, I over the white, over the blue, and you see this uh, silver sort of tone on there. It gives it that shimmer because uh, these uh, are made out of like a velvety material, and they have the black and silver going through. Just so freaking beautiful. All this is hand painted, by the way. And he got it so symmetrical on both sides. He got the Y2J wristbands on there because that's what he wore at the time. Just one of my favorite Jericho's hands down. And I believe this is his WrestleMania 20 attire if I'm not mistaken. But uh, we do have that Jericho moving on. We have the Elite Four Jericho right here. And we just covered this in uh, last week's video with the uh, rare figures. But uh, it is the Elite Four. It's not the variant or whatever. I don't know. Maybe this is the variant. You know, the variant with the purple trunks or whatever. This one has blue, black, and silver. And it says, Save Me on the the butt right there and it says save me on the kick pads very underrated figure and this one feels brand freaking new so this is a very nice moving on we have the elite 20 chris jericho not my favorite head scan but it's still a good uh figure i love the tights on this one he says jericho there got the pink and the silver uh dots on there the glitter or whatever best in the world and a really cool font on the butt right there very nice i wish i could switch this out for the uh smaller knee pads probably need to take care of that but you got the pink black and silver going down on the kick pads that say jericho on them just such a nice all of his figures are so great guys so underrated if you guys can pick up some Chris Jericho elites I definitely recommend doing so but we do have the elite 20 Chris Jericho right here next up we do have the Lost Legends series Chris Jericho in this uh, purple light blue and silver and black attire uh, it's got a little scuffage right there but he does have the Fozzie tattoo not my favorite head scan I'm not a big fan of this head scan but uh, the attire is nice it says Y2J 2016 I think he wore this all the way back in 2012 though which is kind of crazy cool looking kick pads with Y2J 2016 again and uh, Y2J 2016 again but it's a really cool figure a really good base for uh, customs like that and uh, it's just a it's a growl oh, it's got even scuffage on the chin right there what is that but we do have that Chris Jericho and then we have sort of a fix up Chris Jericho with that same figure I painted his updated you know mustache and beard and goatee whatever you want to call it 
from uh, his time in 2017, I believe it was, with Kevin Owens and Universal Championship. But uh, this one does have decal tattoos on there, so he does have all of his tattoos. I wish that I could paint really, really well. I can paint decent, but I wish I could paint really well, and I would have all of my Jerichos with the updated tattoos. He also has my little fig hack scarf and uh, light up jacket on there. Next up, we have one of my newer Chris Jerichos. I literally got this like a couple weeks ago. We have the Elite 53 Chris Jericho in the gray, yellow, purple, red, black, silver tights. Literally so many colors in there. It says Jericho on the front. It does say goat on the butt. I love these trunks to death. Um, this is easily just a great Jericho figure. I love the goat tights. You cannot beat that. But uh, going down to the kick pads, it says Jericho on there as well. And I don't know. I, th I feel like they've made a ton of Jericho Elites, guys. I mean, look at that. Not many of these were custom so far. And you see how many we've gotten to. So, I mean, uh, this is a very underrated as well. I wish they didn't have the newer arms on here, though. Those are absolutely trash and awfulness. So, I wish they didn't have the newer arms, but that's still a good figure to get. Next up, we do have the GameStop slash Ringside exclusive Chris Jericho Elite. The, you just made the list. And this head scan is freaking beautiful. I love this head scan to death. Uh, probably one of my favorite. Mattel head scans. It just looks so much like Chris Jericho, guys. And it is his gold attire. He's got the scarf on right now, but if we flick that over his shoulder, it says Jericho on there. Yeah, got, you know, all of his good stuff going on on these trunks. And then it says goat on the butt. So it's just like the Elite 53 pretty much, but just different colorway. But I love this attire. I love the, uh, just, I don't know. It's just so great. When, when I saw that he had goat on his butt for the first time, I was like, yes, ma'am. That is freaking beautiful. But we do have Jericho on the kick pads as well. This is probably one of the most complete Mattel figures ever made. It's just so accurate. The head scan is great and everything. So uh, if you guys don't have the You Just Made the List exclusive Jericho, definitely go pick it up or at least get the basic with that head scan on there. I mean, my God. Next up, we do have the Festival of Friendship Epic Moments Chris Jericho. And this one's not my favorite. The head scan's terrible. The parts are just, you know, the, the, they're accurate to it, but they didn't give us the green scarf. And it's just, I don't know. They make these jackets so freaking bulky, and the arms are sleeved. And it's just not my favorite Chris Jericho. I, I still have it, though. Got to get all the Chris Jericho figures. But I, I like the KO out of this set more, I believe, with the long pants and the Kevin Owens Show shirt. But uh, this is still a solid figure. I mean, if you can pick up that Festival of Friendship, I still think it's a must-get, especially if you're a big Kevin Owens or Chris Jericho fan. Next up, we have another custom Elite Chris Jericho, and this is his 2001-esque attire. Early 2000s, I guess you could say, with the black gold or yellow and silver lightning designs going down the side it does have the r3 tech head scan on there and i love this head scan to death you know if he does his pose or whatever it really looks nice you know he's doing his pose on the stage and he's killing you and he's just pooping on your mom and you got that freaking pose going like this and he's just yeah break the walls down so that is a really nice jericho one of my favorites also made by showstopper custom figs so we do have that custom jericho and then coming back here, we have another Chris Jericho with that Elite 20 head scan. And I feel really regretful for even using this head scan with that Christian hairpiece and the, you know, the sculpted sideburns. It's not terrible, but it's still not my favorite look. But this is another early 2000s Chris Jericho attire. And I love, like, these two right here bring me back so many memories. Guys, so nostalgic to see both of these figures. But uh, Showstopper completely hand-painted both of these figures, and he nailed them both. He's got the elbow pad on there, and uh, he wore this attire as World Heavyweight Champion. He wore this attire as uh, part of the Tag Team Champions with Chris, uh, Chris Benoit. And uh, our last two right here, we have, you know, the Attitude Era Elite with the Raw as Jericho t-shirt. He's got the... Black knee pads, I switched those on because those are more accurate. You got, you know, the silver barbed wire with the black barbed wire going over the red tights. We got the old school ponytail on top of the skull head or hair going on there. And uh, I wish this was sleeveless. I like him better in the sleeveless shirt. I want a shut the hell up shirt from Jericho. And I also want a hockey jersey um, to put on one of these elites because I, I really like that look. And then I, I, I fixed up my entrance greats, Jericho. I took all of the clothes off of it and threw it on my extra attitude era. It's this exact elite, but it has the clothes on there, and it really works for a debut Chris Jericho. So I do love this one as well, very nostalgic as well. And uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for my entire Chris Jericho elite figure collection, guys. You're going to see over here, like just look upon all the greatness. Just drink it in, man.
Look at all this beautifulness. If you don't leave a like, comment down below what your favorite Chris Jericho is from this video. You just made the list, but uh, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. I hope you di guys did enjoy this Chris Jericho Elite Figure Collection video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Leave a like, comment down below again what your favorite Jericho was. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.